Hello everybody, so today I'll be explaining what each and every item does in the Vampire Origins. So, let's begin. Uh, so, let's begin from the shop items. So, these are the only two items that you cannot get for free. Well, this is the only item that you cannot get for free. Jen can make this one very easily. Um, anyways, moving on. So, Jen can create the spear, but this spear can also end Jen, so this is used for ending Jen and Ken, so yeah. This is used for uh, ending Hope, however, Hope does have protection against this, so you can't just come up to them and stab them and just uh, steal her. No, you need to make her under 250 HP, and at that point, you can literally just switch servers or, you know, just get somebody else to kill her, like Inadu to heal her or something like that. Uh, the White Oak Stake, do not buy this, just ask Esther to make you one. Um, the Dagger, I'll get to that soon, and this one... The normal stake, 2d4 blood bag, and the range range. Uh, I'll get all to that soon. And uh, there is an item that I don't have access to. It's Fortis Lamia. When Esther clicks on a player with, uh, when she does Fortis Lamia, she can actually um, give that player an original serum. And drinking this original serum, it will look like a bowl. And drinking this original serum will uh, change the player's rank above their head from, let's say, witch to original. And they will get lose all their witch keybinds, uh, get original uh, vampire keybinds such as heart rip, head rip, blink, etc, etc. So yeah, let's begin. So the first one is stake, and to be able to use the stake, they, the player must have a vampiric side. This stake cannot be used on or any original or hope. This can be used on heretics, however, they need to be under 250 health. Um, to be under 250 health, you can just, I don't know, instead just ask Esther to make out, uh, it, the indestructible white oak stake instead, so yeah. Uh, but this can also be used on any hybrids, uh, just stab them, or any vampires basically just stab them. Or if a witch is under 250 HP, they can just basically be stopped by this and they will eventually bleed out if they are a game pass switch. And if they are not a game pass switch, you can just stab them and they will eventually bleed out. So the next item is the dagger, which looks like this. The dagger is useful only against originals. Hope and claws will actually uh, reject this. So eventually they will just, even if it's not pulled out, you, uh, if one somebody uh, stabs hope or claws with it, they will eventually dissolve uh, and they will just wake back up. The dagger will dissolve and they will just wake up back up. And if a vampire stakes, stabs an original, uh, any uh, original or uh, hope, as a vampire, if the person has a vampiric side, they will actually just completely uh, kill themselves, basically. And the next item is the tuning fork, which looks like this. This tuning fork is pretty confusing to a lot of people. However, this tuning fork can only be used against one person, and that is Sybil. Our next item is the blood bag, and this can be used against any person with a vampiric side. To If their blood is running low, their thirst is running low, they can just click and use it. The next is the Vervain Syringe, and if you decide to use this on any person with a vampiric side, they will eventually uh, act as if they have been snapped, basically, so yeah. Our next uh, ability is the White Oak Sake, and which looks like this. This can end any heretic, or any original, or any vampire, anybody with a vampiric side uh, other than uh, Hope, basically. To end an original, they need to be under 250 HP, by the way. And yeah, this this is a one-time use. However, if Esther uses this spell, Dox Toxan Dox Malum Dox Divinitum, which looks like this. And it sounds like that. Uh, she will actually just uh, make the white oak stake indestructible, meaning if a player tries to incendiate it, it won't burn. And if it, uh, she can use this over and over and over and over. So yeah. Those are the items that uh, a default person could get. However, there is items that like, spawn in with the people, so I'll get into that later. Uh, so yeah, let's reset. And close the game volume. Real quick. Move on. I remember when everybody was mad at the Roblox's death sound change, but now everybody's used to it and nobody's even remembering the older one. <laughs> so the first item that... Uh, is customly to a character is Inaru, and her, this it's her bones which look like this. And when you place down, it looks like this. To activate her bones, it's Corpore Salutam Conservera. 
and basically this will be her immortality and yeah this is the first uh, custom item that comes with a person the next item that I can think of is with um, Dahlia uh, Dahlia just spawns on a default white oak stake uh, it's not indestructible so if she uses it it's gone uh, she can only use it once basically so yeah but the next person that spawns in with a custom uh, item is Freya and Freya spawns in with a candle basically once she can she places this down she can channel the ancestors without placing this candle down she cannot channel to the ancestors and yeah that's how you do it basically and the last person that I can think of with a custom uh, item that they can they spawn in with is um, Claws. Claws spawns in with a dagger. Yep, just a default white oak sake, white oak ash silver dagger. So yeah, this is nothing different, just a dagger basically. And yeah, let me showcase Jen's uh, spear in her hands because it's easier to see like that. And Jen can basically uh, spawn in the spear. And she is the only person who can create items out of nowhere, basically. Uh, Esther has to have a normal oak stake to create the white oak stake, basically. And as you guys can see, uh, if anybody goes into that, basically, Freya's circle, they will be blocked, by the way. And this is how it looks like. This is how she creates it. And this is her spear, basically. And this, like I said, she can use this to uh, end Ken. Or if somebody has this, she can be killed with. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this video helps you guys understand each and every item that is in the Vampire Origins, and yeah, take care everybody, and farewell.